Hey everyone. So here I am with another Far Cry 3 video. Um, this time, I'm actually taking a look at a new mod called Ziggy's Mod. This mod really changes the way the game plays. Uh, changes a lot of your strategies, changes the way a lot of things are going to work for you. And I wanted to show it off because it makes the game a lot harder, makes it a lot more realistic. Um, and it just it changes a lot of your strategies. Um, and right off the bat, you can see one of the fundamental changes is that in the lower left-hand corner, the mini-map is gone, and we have instead a, uh, a compass. Look at that. So that's north, right there. Um, that is a fundamental change in the game. It's going to change a lot of things for you. Um, previously, it used to be really easy to find loot and to find plants, because you could just go running along, not even looking at the screen, just pay attention to the mini-map. And then when a loot pops up or a plant pops up, you just run to it and capture it. And um, that was made it really easy to get lots of loot and always have your plants on hand for uh, crafting. But you can't do that anymore. Now you actually have to hunt for your loot and hunt for your plants. And that's really big change because there's been uh, an increase in the weapon costs. Um, previously, it was really easy to buy new weapons. Um, and to keep your ammo stocked, um, you could always have loot, you always had money, so it was fairly easy. But you can't do that anymore, um, and that change is a fundamental change. Um, now you actually have to search for loot and pay attention to what you're doing. Um, another map change is to the main map itself. Let's have a look at that. Um, the biggest thing you can see here is that, first of all, the whole map is open to you. Right from the very start of the game, the entire map is open, even the South Island. Apparently, you can go down here. If we zoom in a bit, you can see another big fundamental change is that animals are now hidden. You don't know where your animals are. Um, all you have is these paw prints. I'm guessing these are for the predators and these are for the herbivores. Um, obviously, these are going to be sharks. Excuse me, my nose is a little stuffed up this morning. Um, so this makes things much more challenging. When you want to go uh, look for crafting items, you actually have to hunt for them now. Um, and that's another big change in the game, is that crafting has gotten a lot more expensive and a lot more variety to it. So if we have a look at, let's say, the wallet, um, now we need multiple animal types and we need plants to get the upgrade. So it's a lot harder to upgrade. In my previous video, in my uh, Perfect Series video, before I had captured my second outpost, I had most of my stuff upgraded. And by the time I captured, uh, uh, you know, the third outpost, I had everything upgraded to the to the highest, second highest level. Um, you're not going to be doing that this time because it's a lot harder to upgrade. Also, though, um, because everything's gotten more expensive, the the um, weapons are more expensive. Your wallets now can actually hold more m money. So, um, right off the bat, the initial wallet lets you hold $2,000. Um, I don't know what the big wallet holds because I haven't got up there yet. Um, and that is, in fact, another change I wanted to show you right now. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, the shark is gone. So, they've also opened up all weapons right at the very start of the game. Um, you no longer have to climb... Uh, or do store uh, climb activate or towers radio towers and activate them or do story missions to unlock weapons all of the weapons are unlocked right from the get-go and you'll notice that they're all more expensive um, we have a look at our assault rifle so everything is open to you right at the start generally the ace isn't open until you've done a couple of the story missions on the south island in the second half of the game um, Everything's open to you. Um, but the other thing is is that there's no more free weapons either. You have to actually buy any weapon you're going to use. So activating radio towers no longer gives you free weapons. That is going to change how you play the game now as well. Um, and then finally, there's more weapons. So have a look at our other weapons list. We've got all sorts of things going on here. Where is it? Um, signature weapons. Now this is a bit of a bug in there. Um, it's extending way below for the mod. But we've got some really neat weapons going on here. We've got a stinger, um, a spade. I don't know what the hell that is. Look at how much this weapon costs, this ripper. It's almost $20,000. Um, 
But look at this damn thing. It's got a big ass muzzle brake on there from like a shot or from a snipe 50 cal sniper rifle. Uh, plus 30% fire rate uh, and reloading speed. Um, there's a couple of bows, the Predator bow. Um, increased distance and extra damage, but the Infernal bow is really cool. Uh, all your arrows get converted to fire arrows apparently. So you can walk around with three different bows. You can have the Inferno, the Predator, and your regular recurve bow. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so that's a pretty big change. Oh, also there's more uh, melee weapons. There's this, uh, you can actually have the Dragon wep uh, Sword now as a uh, weapon. It's $15,000. Um, so that's a lot of money. Uh, tribal Sword. Tribal Knife. So before you could only have, I think it was the machete and the tanto. Um, these are all new. Um, lots of neat stuff going on here. Um, but like I said, everything is open right at the very beginning. Ammo is actually more expensive, and they've changed the price of ammo. So um, various things uh, have a bigger uh, cost spread than they did before. So you have to be careful about how you're spending your money because you're not going to have lots of money. Um, so those are a couple of the big changes, um, and we're going to show you some more changes as I go on. So let's pull up the map. Oh, um, and as I was saying, so it seems like there's really no incentive to go ahead and activate the radio towers anymore, because the whole map is open, you're not getting free weapons, you're not unlocking weapons anymore. So they made the radio towers an extra 1,000 um, XP points. So instead of getting, like, what was it before, 250 XP points, you now get 1,000 uh, for climbing the radio towers. And that's useful because all of the skills are open right at the start. I don't. These are a bit locked uh, because you have to un uh, do some requirements to actually get them. Um, but it doesn't tell you what the requirement is. That's annoying. Oh, yeah, it does. Require standard takedown kills, three or four... This one, uh, you got to re collect relics, which is going to be hard. Uh, so all of your skills are open at the beginning. Um, previously, you had to do story missions to unlock skill sets, but now everything's just open. So the storyline has sort of moved off and isn't as important for being able to gain skills and being gain weapons. You can uh, really change your gameplay. Um, oops. There's been a lot of changes to this game, um, so let's go over here. I'm going to head over to this outpost and try and capture that outpost. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a trial. Alright. I'm um, going to have a look at my crafting menu before I go riding out of this outpost and try and have a look at what I need. So I need some pig and green leaves to upgrade my wallet. Uh, I need some green leaf and a buffalo. Uh, for the rucksack. Goats and dingoes. Dingoes and goats. Pigs and boars. And you know, this more expensive crafting, plus not knowing where your animals are, plus having to actually hunt for uh, uh, plants, makes it much more challenging. Really quite interesting. So, I found myself doing much more animal killing and just hanging on to them. Um, in fact, I better have a look. How many slots do I have free in my rucksack? 13 of 24. Huh. Another change they've done is that they've really... Oh, um, before I go, if we have a look at our uh, mini-map, I'll try and put it on something that we can see. So right at the top, you can see the square that's being displayed right at the top of uh, the mini-map. So that's the uh, the objective pointer, so you know where your objective is. Uh, but that's all you get. Um, no more minimap, it's really interesting. There's many more patrols in the game. The patrols have been increased by, uh, I think, a lot. Um, so they're like everywhere. Um, and you have to really uh, pay attention to that because you know, you could be battling a patrol, um, thinking that it's going to be an easy kill of two guys, but then another patrol will drive up right away, and you got more guys fighting, and then more guys coming, and it's really crazy. But I'm going to show you right now one of the biggest fundamental changes that happened to this game. You're going down. Get that 
So you notice what's not happening. The bad guys aren't being tagged. Why is that guy just driving in circles? That's fucking crazy. What the hell is he doing? So you notice that the bad guys are not being tagged. That is a huge change in the game. Um, previously, you know, you could just tag the guys and you would know where they are. No longer. You have to uh, have a lot higher situational awareness. So, for example, if you're going in to tackle a, uh, an outpost, previously you would just tag all your enemies and then go hide behind the building and you could still watch them. You knew where they were pointing, where they were walking to. It was easy to plan. You can't do that anymore. Um, tagging of animals doesn't work anymore either. So when you go hunting animals, you have to pay attention to where they're running away to. You can't just tag them, start shooting away, and then just follow them without even seeing them. Uh, that's a fundamental change. Also, I don't know if you noticed it, but those bad guys that I was looking at through the binoculars a minute ago, they weren't as obvious to see as they used to be. Uh, remember, they used to be wearing bright red shirts. They're not wearing bright red shirts anymore, they're wearing green. So when you're fighting them out in the jungle and they go hiding behind the bush, they're a lot harder to spot. It used to be fairly easy to see their big red shirts, but now they're hidden, and that is just cool. Also, um, the prompts have disappeared. Like, this is a loot box right here, and I'm standing right beside it. Normally, you see the prompt up there that says, uh, press E to loot. Those prompts don't pop up at all anymore. However, that does cause a bit of an issue. Um, earlier, I had a, a couple of dead guys laying beside a vehicle, and every time I tried to loot the guy, I ended up entering the vehicle, so that was annoying. It took several efforts uh, to actually get the guy looted. Um, sometimes you're trying to loot the guy and you end up just picking up his weapon instead. That's frustrating. I can't wait until but so these are bad guys here. And remember, they used to be wearing bright red shirts and now they're wearing green. So these are your friends and these are the bad guys. Big difference. Um, I can't even list all of the changes. I don't even know what all of the changes are. Some of them are fairly small, some of them are fairly big. Uh, so my outpost that I'm trying to capture is over there. But if we're looking around... Now I know for a fact that there's a whole bunch of loot up there. Um, just because this is in fact my fourth playthrough. Um, but remember, it doesn't actually show up anymore on your uh, mini-map, so you have to go hunting for it, and you have to pay attention to everything now. It is very cool. So you're searching, you're searching... There's one. There's another. Whoops. Those are bad guys, but, you know, they're not being tagged, eh? I like that change. I really do. Now, apparently, um, you can, in fact, get to the South Island, although I haven't tried it yet. Um, so maybe I will in this part of this video. I'm actually looking for some animals. Um, I want to get some basic upgrades going, get some crafting items going, but, you know, as you know, you can't find them anymore. You don't know what animal you're, where they are. You can't just go straight to them. You're doing a lot of hunting. Now, one of the comparisons they made about this game is that they called it Skyrim with guns. Um, and I never really felt that way. Um, But now with this mod, it is a lot more Skyrim-ish um, than it used to be. Uh, and I think that's just great. So see, there's a golden beehive. No, that's not a golden beehive, but that is an amber leaf that I needed. Um, that's awesome. See, now I'm looking... I heard the dogs, the, uh, which I want. But there's no use just pulling the binoculars out and looking for them because you're not going to find them.
Oh, and another change. You don't have the automatic reloading anymore. When you run out of ammo, or when you're shooting and you're, uh, you run out of uh, bullets in your clip, you just stop shooting. You have to manually reload it. And um, I never realized how much I was relying on the automatic reload previously. Um, all of a sudden, you know, I'd stop shooting and it's like, what's going on? Oh, reload, reload, reload! <laughs> Um, so yeah, you gotta pay attention to that. I think I just got a crafting... Oh, I got a skill point. I don't know which one I want here. Um, oh, actually, I think... You know what? I want health. That's what I want. I'm gonna go with gaining an additional health slot. Oh, I already have that one. Um... Uh, Harvest twice as many items from plants. You know what? I'm going to take... Oh, I need to get the sprint slide first, so I'll well just take the damn sprint slide. So before I go on, I'm going to tell you about uh, one of the problems I had with this mod. Um, interesting about this mod... Now, this mod is recommended... It is not recommended for your first time playing Far Cry 3. You should have already have played the single-player campaign and gotten familiar with the game. Uh, and the mod is recommended only for a, a repeated playthrough. One of the things it does is it gets rid of the intro. Um, normally the game starts when you start a new game. You're with you and your friends, you're on the beach. Uh, the MIA song Paper Planes is playing. I want to get high like paper and fly like planes. Good song, can't sing it. Um, and then you go skydiving and then you end up unconscious and then you wake up in a cage with your brother and boss is there and you go through this whole rigmarole of escaping. All of that is gone. Uh, this mod gets rid of that. It just puts you straight into waking up with the dude tattooing your arm. Um, and then you go out of the house and the first thing you do is you buy the 1911 gun at the store. And then you go back outside and talk to buddy. And then your first mission is to walk up to a radio tower and activate it. Kind of a trading session. Well, for me, I couldn't sprint. Um, after I walked out of the house and whatnot, I wasn't able to sprint. Uh, all I could do was walking. And that radio tower mission didn't actually activate. So, like, I knew what I was doing. I knew where I was going. Like I said, this is my fourth playthrough. And as I got up near the radio tower, all of a sudden I had the message pop up saying, you're leaving the mission objective zone. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not. I'm on the path. I'm in the middle of my objective zone. I know what I'm doing. And as soon as I got to the fence that surrounds that radio tower, um, it just said, you know, you've gone too far. And it restarted me back in the damn house. And I had to go through all of those uh, animations and do it all over again. Uh, but the second time, things worked for me. And I was able to sprint. And that mission did activate. And I was able to continue. So that was a bit of an uh, interesting bug that happened there to me. Um, okay, now what the hell did I just harvest? Were those dogs or were those dingoes? Those were dogs. Crap. Okay, so let's head over there to the uh, outpost. I don't know how far it is. Um, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Oh, yeah, see, your icon has changed as well. Um, so that's interesting. You look different now um, on your map. And you really want to pay attention to your ammo, because like I said, ammo is much more expensive. How come they're not seeing me yet? Oh, and um, just to let you know, I am in fact playing on the new um, highest difficulty, the new master difficulty level that they came up. You may have, if you watched any of my uh, Perfect Capture series, uh, that's the series where I went through on what was then the highest difficulty and I captured every outpost in the game uh, completely undetected with no alarms um, I kept complaining that it wasn't hard enough <laughs> well with the new master difficulty and with this mod it's plenty hard enough um, in fact um, yeah it makes a big change so I'm just gonna swing around the behind these guys and then sneak up and do a, um, a takedown on them I have no idea how uh, I was able to get around these guys they should have seen me over there that just is a little bit ridiculous so you notice it didn't actually give me the whole take F to do the takedown uh, prompt so no prompts 
anything like that. Alright. Where's my outpost that I'm heading to? Must be that one there. See, like I said, there's more um, patrols, and there's another patrol right there. Let's go sneak up behind these guys and see if I can uh, take them out and rescue my friends. I like these kind of patrols. I don't remember seeing this type of patrol on the North Island before. I know they were all over the I South Island. But I could just be mistaken Please. on that. They're taking them to be executed, so let's try and get up here and save them before they get executed. Oh! Fine! Don't hurt me! I can't believe you caught me. Crap! Now look at that! My, uh, all of my, uh, body armor has been used up in that little bit of action, and, um, wow. That sucked. And I don't have any, uh, medicine. Medicine is more expensive. Medicine takes two plants now, so... See, now I'm looking for some green, um, plants. But, you know, you can't just see it anymore on a mini-map. You actually have to pay attention. What is that? Oh, my rucksack is full. Crap. And there's green right there. I need that. Son of a bitch, eh? Um... this outpost because I'm out of loot. Bad guys everywhere in this game. Wow, eh? Now this is a cave, so there's going to be a loot and relic in here. Um, uh, let's go find that relic. I know there's a relic in here. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 